Howdy everyone, how's it going? Thank you for tuning in. I have a review of uh, Shin Hati. I believe that's how you say her name. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I've heard it pronounced a hundred different ways. This thing is definitely going to fall into the mediocre or even below average or mediocre, below mediocre. Um, and, and it's not that I don't like the character, I don't like the figure, it's... Well, yeah, it's because I don't really like the figure all that well. It has a lot of inaccuracies. Um, the height, I believe, is, is she's too tall. Um, the face is all wrong. She really looks like Taylor Swift. And she looks too kind. I think Shin always had that RBF, if you know what I'm saying. Um, she just has that face that's like, I don't want to talk to you. You seem kind of rude. Uh, or she's just like puzzled all the time. I just don't know if this face does, like the face looks great. It's just, I don't think that it's uh, quite a good face for her. Maybe it's the hair. I think the hair is a little too blonde. I think it's supposed to have some, some highlights in there. Um, so that being said, I, I think that uh, I definitely am going to wash, put a little wash on it. Um, we're going to just take her accessory out. She comes with a single accessory. That's her lightsaber. And I can't tell if this is the orange. She doesn't like to stand either. If this is the orange blade or if this is the red blade. Um, it looks a little orangish. But I think the orange blade is very, like, lighter. This looks a little dark. But you guys let me know. If this is supposed to be the orange blade, um, let me know. Uh, also, her hilt is very gummy. It's a very, very pliable material. Um, some people like that. Some people don't. Put that over there. Um, she does have up and down hinges on both hands, which is good. Um, she does have O-ring shoulders, which is also good. Um, and I believe these can go all the way around. Unlike the uh, Mandalorian Fleet Commander, uh, Din Djarin... And a few others are actually capped where they can't go all the way around, which is odd that, that uh, that's even a thing. Or is this... Okay, yeah, no, it, it goes pretty good. Um, like I said, you guys know this channel. If you come here regularly, I don't really in-depthly cover the uh, articulation unless it's really bad or really good. This is going to be one that I'm going to have to say is pretty bad. Um, just because of the nature of plastic uh, robes. I'm not a huge fan of plastic robes, or at least if they're done... Maybe a little bit more hyper cuts through it so that, that, like, you know, it's not all one piece. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Um, I'm usually not a fan of breaking up material like hard, like hard plastic, soft. Um, usually I prefer it to be mostly one piece. Uh, but in this instance, I don't know if this is, yeah, I guess it's a, uh, like it's a fabric, I guess. So I guess that's fine. Uh, she does have armor. I think she, I think her overall design is really cool, but you know it does lack uh, pizzazz, if you will. Like, and I know that's you know most Sith, and I know they're not Sith, they're not Jedi, but I think the design overall is really good. I just think you know it's very subtle, and I think that's kind of where they what they were going for. Um, you know the the weathering. You can see kind of the glare from my lighting. You might not be able to see it, but on, like, ridges, it is a, um, it looks like it was worn on some of those high, uh, high-tension areas. Um, her, sh her knees, now oh, they're pretty normal. It doesn't, like, it's not like she's kneeing people or whatever. Um, so overall, her articulation, from what I've been fidgeting with her over, you know, yesterday, I, uh, I kind of took her out of the box, fidgeted with her for a minute, and went to bed. I wanted to know if this thing was as bad as people say. And I really don't like this plastic. It's kind of bothersome. And a lot of people are doing like thigh swaps. I don't really care. She's short or she's taller than, you know, Balin is one of those characters that I am still going to get. Uh, I, I, I know already that he just, judging by how small she is as, a, as even a character, I can already tell he's going to be mega tiny. Because uh, I know they're, like, very similar height. But her articulation is actually pretty good. Um, 
you know, uh, if you've seen the thumbnail, I don't know which thumbnail I'm going to use. I've taken a, taken a couple pictures, but uh, um, I found the way that I think I'm going to display her. Um, and that's obviously going to be with the lightsaber. I don't know where I'm going to put them. The, I don't really have a whole lot of bad guys on my Mandoverse shelf. So I don't think that she's going to go up there. I think I'm going to get an, another shelf and then I'm just going to start putting like the bad guys from these shows like Morgan Elizabeth. I don't have her yet, but I think I think now that I'm, I have uh, Shin uh, Murak, um, I think I'm more willing to get Morgan Elizabeth just so that she has some characters to stand alongside. Um, the paint, like I said, the paint on her face is, is, is really good. Like, it's really hard to tell, um, but it's really good. She has definitely one of the best faces I've seen in a hot minute. Um, but then again, you know, like, all of my complaints about this figure could be justified. Um, not really being Hasbro's fault entirely because, um, you know, what they're working with most of the time is, is a concept art and uh, whatnot. Do I think that this one was all concept art? No, because she looks very similar. I, uh... I went back and I watched some of the scenes with her and, uh, like, her entrance scene. So that's what, kind of circling back to, disp like, displayability. So this is um, Luke's cloak from the freighter, uh, light cruiser. Um, this goes on her very well, um, and it looks really good. I don't feel like fidgeting with the hood right now, uh, maybe here in a minute. But this is Luke Skywalker's cloak from uh it's got it's a little dirty i kind of i kind of wanted it to look a little dirty so i kind of took stuff and kind of matted it in there um like some paint some brown paints matted it in there so that it looks a little bit more worn but uh i think her cloak that she has on her arrival is a lighter cloak is it is it white quite like this no but i think that looks really good for the most part um she does not like to stand though uh, because you can kind of put it on her shoulders, pinch it with her hair, or the hair itself actually clings to the hood very well. So you could do that. You could display her with the hood on. I think she should have came with a cloak, um, but that's just me. There's there's a lot of people who um, think that they need to come with more accessories. Oh, I just bumped it with my forehead. And I do agree, they do need to come with more accessories, but um, for, for this one particularly, I think a cloak saber would have been, would have been nice. Um, you know, like, uh, you know, I'd, for me, that would have been fine uh, with a cloak and a saber. So I think I'm going to use this cloak on her, but just for a quick, you know, to show you guys in case you don't have that Return of the Jedi, or excuse me, um, fucking, what's that... <laughs> Uh, that one Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi, um, if you have that Luke, this one's annoying because this collar piece on the inside, you got to really pull it back like this, like yank it back, and then you can position the hood kind of how you, you'd like it. It's really annoying to actually fidget with this. Um, I'll probably actually end up using this for Balin because I don't think he comes with a cloak either. So I'll probably just end up using this one for Balin. Everything clings to it. Um, so yeah, if, if you know, there's some display options, but yeah, she definitely should have came with a cloak. So that you know, you can fidget with the hood. I'm not going to display her with the hood. I'm definitely going to use this one. Um. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good, I'm going to be honest. She doesn't hold her lightsaber very well. She has a very light grip on it. And for some reason, they give a lot of these Jedi, um, like, trigger fingers. I'm like, what do you, why? And I get it, it could be a gesture hand, right? But then this hand is a gesture hand. Or it's like a light, it's like a like a relaxed-ish hand. That doesn't, it doesn't hold the saber very well in this one either. Um... Yeah, so this is the saber wielding hand. I'm not sure why they do that with the with the with the, the trigger fingers, because um, like it, for her, I don't think her fighting style is very like like Dooku holds his blade at an angle. That's just kind of how his fighting style is. But uh, I don't know if that's how she is. Um, I watched some of her scenes, and she's 
you know, but yeah, I'll probably display her like this. Overall, I think that looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. With the cloak that doesn't even belong to her, it bumps her up to, to mid, um, to uh, you know, mediocre status. But I think as of as of the figure, she's definitely gonna have to go in, in, in uh, below mediocre. Again, I'm gonna come up with a chart um, on how I base the figures. But let's display her. Let's get some comparisons here with some of these other Ahsoka figures. Are the best figure ever made. And those of y'all who watch my channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That shit bag. <laughs> Again, um, not a huge fan of this guy. Uh, he is very wrong. I think he's cool overall, right? But, like, when it comes to him as an accuracy... You know, it's just, it's not, it's not that great. Um, it's just, it, his character was very minor, but, you know, he didn't even come with a spear, and that's not even his spear, that's a, uh, Magna Guard's spear, so, you know, all I'm saying is, he's okay. He looks okay, his accuracy is horrendous. Um, next, Maroc. One of my all-time favorite Black Series figures ever made. And that's this one is being legit. I really like Maroc. I think he is a expertly done figure. He is his articulation's phenomenal. Um I like he's got soft goods, he's got some armor. However, I do, you know, have the complaint like most people that uh yeah, his uh, paint deco is really bad. It's not good. It's not good. Um it is what it is. I think I don't think we will we will never see another rendition of this character. And I do feel like that's why they balled out on it for the most part. Like I said, besides his his color, uh, his uh, armor color, um, it's it's not great. But if you want to see my review on this guy, uh, it was kind of an older video, so the production quality isn't quite a where it's at now. And I laugh to call this good production quality, but hey, we all got to start somewhere. Um, so yeah, these two, these are two of the bad guy characters. Um, just spoilers, uh, if you haven't seen Mandalorian, I'm not going to spoil anything, but this guy was a big fucking nothing burger. He was like a big old burger with buns and nothing in between it. Like no meat, no nothing. He had all this allure, like when you go order, like it's the, the burgers called the S tier burger, and then it's literally fucking nothing. This guy had a lot of potential, like Snoke. Um, Snoke is one of my favorite villains of all time, based purely on his potential that he could have had in the, the headcanon I had before The Last Jedi came out. But anyways, enough bitching about The Last Jedi. I'm not a fan of that movie. Is that The Last Jedi? That's the one that fucking sucked. Sorry. Sorry. I, I just don't really care for that one. It broke my heart in so many ways. But anyways, on to some other figures from Ahsoka. Pretty much all uh, all of the uh, ones that we're going to be displaying today are all from Ahsoka. I actually have decided to get quite a few of these uh, figures because I really like the show. Um, that's the Mandalorian one. It's not the Ahsoka one, but it's literally the same, essentially. Um, so I'll pull these at last two out here in a minute. Uh, but yeah, here's her with... Uh, Hera. I really like the Hera figure. I think it's... It, the Hera figure is... Whew, what do I... What would I have to put that? I'd have to put that at at least a... An 8. An, an 8 solid. Like, it's a really good. 8's a good number, right? 9 is really good. Um, and, and yeah, obviously my stuff's gonna be a little biased because of my personal opinions, but you know, I don't have a whole huge connection with... Uh, with the Rebels cast. I didn't really watch Rebels. I started watching it after Ahsoka just so I could kind of understand some of these characters. Ahsoka, she's a great figure. I, I do have to say she's definitely an aide. Um, yeah, it has some issues, but nothing that's actually egregious. And Sabine. Sabine Wren. The pseudo main character of the series of uh, Ahsoka. Then we have Ezra. Which, funny enough, we never see him um, like this in the show. 
um, pretty much in like one snippet, but I'm pretty sure he was a lot younger than he is represented here. But hey, I, this is this is a nice design. Uh, they scale pretty good. I did give him the blue lightsaber because I think in Ahsoka, correct me if wrong, he has a blue one um, at the end. So yeah, I think that they scale pretty good. I'm kind of looking down here. Uh, she's definitely taller than all of them. Even, you know, smushing that down. She's still taller than than all of them. Um, which, again, this was one of my favorite head sculpts. Like, face-wise, like the way that they got the likeness. And yeah, sure, she might not be perfect. But I think the paint and, like, the it looks good. Um, she might be... She might be a contender. Like it looks really good. Um, so yeah, I think that I've. I think I'm gonna actually start. Uh, now that I'm getting so many Ahsoka figures, I think I'm gonna start taking them off my Mandoverse shelf and actually expand that and start putting um, Ahsoka characters in their own shelf because I've got quite a few of them now at this point. Um, I don't know exactly know what I'm gonna do with with uh, her right now. Um, Marak, he's with my Inquisitors, because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, he isn't, was an Inquisitor. I'm pretty sure he was. Um, there's that dog outside, you know, it, it barks all the time, and then my dogs get defensive. They're like, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a war going on, and then they go ape shit, and, and, you know, y'all know how it is if you got animals. Um, that's just the way they do it. Uh, yeah, but, but, you know, closing remarks... Um, Shin, like I said, she's below mid, so she's probably, probably a, f God, it's hard for me to put her at a five, because five would be mediocre, um, it's hard for me to put her below mediocre when I really think about it, I might, she might just have to get the mediocre stamp, um, <sighs> mediocre, um, that's kind of my final, final put on it, um, a part of me wants to give her a four, but I don't think that she's, as a figure, bad enough to get a four out of ten. Um, so, mediocre. And again, mediocre doesn't always mean bad. Sometimes there's, there's, there's like, amazing qualities, but it just doesn't quite hit, hit you know, it doesn't quite land. And it kind of ends up in the mediocre spot, which, like, the uh, Pike Soldier, which I think a lot of people agree because that's my lowest uh, viewed video on Star Wars, so... Hey, maybe people are like, yeah, he's a mid figure. I don't even want to watch this crap. <laughs> but I appreciate everyone who does tune in to watch. Um, I don't have the most like traditional reviewing style, and I know that, but that's kind of how I like to review things. Um, kind of just giving you my personal opinion, uh, telling you what accessories are really good, uh, what the figure does really good, what it does really bad. And, you know, I kind of come to these conclusions um, that you know, we don't always have to have the best, you know, editing and the best, um, production quality to, you know, I just like giving my opinion, um, based on, based on just how I feel about a figure. And, and sometimes I am blinded by like either the actor, which I, I try to separate the actor, the designs, like a lot of people are like, oh, Ahsoka's show sucks. Well, I love it based on, like, the amount that it expanded on with Star Wars. People are like, oh, Book of Boba Fett sucks. I love the designs, again, that they expanded on Star Wars. Boba Fett's design is incredible. Um, I like her design. I like uh, her character. Um, she's definitely one of my favorite villains besides Thrawn. You know, Balin Skull. You know, I'd have to go Thrawn, Balin, Shin. And then everyone else, like, I know that really doesn't leave much. Um... But yeah, like, they're some of my favorites. Merak, one of my favorite designs. Doesn't mean he's one of my favorite characters. He has little to absolutely no development. But hey, this video has dragged on for long enough. If you have made it this far, I want to thank you. Even if you haven't and you're not hearing this, I want to thank you. Um, my channel has had some amazing growth, so thank you to all my brand new subscribers. I really should have started writing down the names a long time ago, and I feel like it's been so long that... I'm not going to do that because then it's like, oh, well, you're only recognizing the people that show up now. Um, maybe you don't want to be shouted out that you're subscribed, which is okay. Um, I, I can respect that. Um, if you like what I do, sorry, I got something in my throat. If you like what I do, drop a like on the video. If you don't, if you didn't like what I did, 
go ahead and tell me why. I want to know. I, I do. And I, I respect all the criticism because that's how we, we get better. Um, so thank you guys. Um, check out some of my other videos. They're not at this level of production quality. They're actually, when I go back and look at them, they're not the best. But a lot of people seem to have enjoyed them thus far. Um, let me know if you have this figure and you're just stopping in to see what I think about it. Let me know if there's any critiques that I just maybe have missed. Um, you know, the lightsaber, whatever whatever critiques I maybe have missed, let me know. I'm always willing to, to, uh, uh, to listen and or answer questions that some people might have. Um, so again, for the last time and the final time, thank you all, thank you all, thank you all. Uh, go check out some of these other YouTubers out there. Uh, they do some amazing quality content. Um, I'm not, I'm not the best by any means, but goodbye, guys, and have a fantastic and safe day.